Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacob Wilson and welcome to our supplement review of the day, which is medium chain triglycerides or MCTs. Now MCTs are one of those old school tried and true supplements. I can remember back in the 90s when John Perillo first introduced them to the bodybuilding physique market, right? They were known as the fat you can't store fat with, right? Well, does that even, does it hold up? Do they work? Well, okay, so let's ex explain these. What are triglycerides? Well, triglycerides are fats, right? You have like a glycerol backbone, three fatty acids, and they have different chain lengths, right? You have um, lo long chain fatty acids, like for example, if you have a chain length of like 20 um, fatty acids, it's a long chain fatty acid. Um, however, uh, if you have something that's medium, it would be considered six to 10 uh, chain length fatty acids, right? So if you have six carbons to 10 carbons, that's a medium chain triglyceride. Some books, textbooks define it as six to 12, and that's controversial about the 12, but you could say six to 10. Some people say six to 12. Now, why would they be burned different than other fats? Well, intriguingly enough, one, they're about a calorie less than normal fats, or a little bit less than that, but they're less calories than normal fats. And also, medium chain triglycerides get digested differently. So what ends up happening when you take a long chain fatty acid, they go through a series of processes. Like one, you digest them, they get broken down in the stomach and then they diffuse into the blood and they get put in these large fat globules that are called chylomicrons. They move around the blood through a parallel um, system called the lymphatic system. They go up to your neck, they get dumped into the blood um, and basically then they can get processed. They finally get transported to the muscle, the mitochondria, and they require a transporter, L-carnitine, basically that trans transport to get delivered into the mitochondria. Medium chain triglycerides are so short that in the digestive tract, they diffuse right into the blood. They then go, they can, then can get burned as fuel right away because the mitochondria doesn't require a transport to transport them in because they're shorter. And, and what ends up happening is, so that's one thing, they're harder to store as fat. So a lot of times I remember in the old days, they got used in like uh, mass building shakes. The problem with using them in mass building shakes is that medium chain triglycerides can hurt your stomach actually quite a bit. Um, so the thing to understand is that if you watch this video, you say, I'm gonna take them, I'm, I'm hardcore, I'm gonna take 20 grams. If you take 20 grams, it will destroy your stomach. Just like anything else, just like your biceps or your legs, you have to train your stomach to adapt to anything. I'd start off with three grams of MCTs just to get started. Then I move to five, then six, and then maybe 10 gram servings, okay? What's unique about MCTs is they go to the liver and the liver converts them to ketones. So they're a way to improve, improve or increase internal ketone production. So they're very good for a low carbohydrate diet, a ketogenic diet to get you into ketosis. And they just work really well overall for giving us energy. Studies do show that taking MCTs slightly raise our metabolism, which could be good for fat burning. And actually some studies show that if you replace certain, you replace normal fats with MCTs, that you actually end up losing more fat than not. So I think as a supplement for, if you're on a low carb diet, I think as a supplement to boost your energy with breakfast, if you're doing a low carb breakfast, um, <clears throat> can be great. Also, if you're doing intermittent fasting, MCTs can be really good for a modified intermittent fast to give you energy, um, modified energy during that fasting period. So guys, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.